Here is an example of the cutting system mounted to a standard engine lathe. The unit is portable and is easily mounted to most industry standard lathes and automated grooving and grinding machines without requiring special modifications. The power supply has a wheeled cart, which in this case is positioned conveniently near the headstock. For operation, the unit requires only an electrical outlet and a standard compressed air hose connection. The cutting head assembly easily mounts directly to the cross slide, or compound slide, in front of the machine, where it is convenient to operate and doesn't interfere with a grinder that is often mounted in the back. The power supply has a simple to operate control panel, where the heating level can be adjusted. Setting the heating level is a quick one-step process that doesn't have to be repeated unless the blade is changed to a different size. We will begin by showing a typical roughing operation, which is the removal of excess material prior to final grinding. In this case, we will be machining a Duro 60 Hypolon covered roller. The cutting system is turned on by the remote switch and the operator takes a light cut at one end to establish the diameter. After measuring the diameter, the cutting tool is moved in, leaving just enough material for a final grind, usually about a hundred thousandths on diameter. The innovative tool design, which concentrates heat at the cutting edge, allows for rapid material removal, with no smoke, dust, or heat shock to the rubber. The strip is one inch wide and is being cut at a rate of around 30 feet per minute. The excess rubber is easy to dispose of in the form of a strip. The roughing cut leaves the roller cylindrical with only a small overbuild for one final pass with a grinder. The cutting system allowed this roller to be roughed down quickly with no smoke no dust, no heat shock, and with good dimensional control. Another example of a roughing operation will be shown on this Duro 30 printing roller. Once again, it is possible to quickly remove excess rubber along with the plastic wrapping to produce a roller close to the final diameter. It is possible to machine off as much as one inch per diameter in one pass and it is not a problem to machine rollers with uneven diameters. If there is a need for more than one pass, roughing can be done in both, in directions. both directions. In addition, in to, addition efficiency, to efficiency, having less rubber to grind off also translates into less cleanup and better air quality within the production plant, thus improving the overall working environment. The versatile design of the cutting head allows for easy adjustment of the blade's angle to accommodate various grooving operations. Here the cutting head is turned 90 degrees for a longitudinal groove that will be cut. As with roughing, the grooving operation is quick and free of dust and smoke. Here the blade is traversing at 100 inches per minute and the groove is half an inch wide and about half an inch deep. This grooving speed and cutting quality is unachievable through a conventional grinding process. Once again, after cutting, the strip is pulled out with little effort and a high quality groove is produced with sharp edges and a smooth, shiny surface. There is no need for difficult cleanup of sticky dust or using messy coolants. It is also possible to rough cut the polyurethane material as well as large diameter rollers with the same valuable benefits we have demonstrated with smaller rubber covered rollers. Another example of how versatile and useful the elastomer cutting system is can be demonstrated with how easy it is to produce a flex spreader groove using just a standard engine lathe. The flex spreader cutting fixture has a 30 degree undercut angle built in so it always produces the correct undercut. As with other cutting operations, making the spreader groove is quick and clean. The spreader fixture is turned over to produce the correct undercut angle in the second groove. The unique design of this fixture makes it a no-hassle task to produce symmetrical grooves in both directions. The now complete flex spreader roller has been grooved in a few minutes, 
using only a standard lathe and the versatile elastomer cutting system.